Hi everyone! So I'm back with another video today and I realise it's been quite a long time since I filmed a video but I've just, I don't really know why I haven't filmed a video in a while, I've just been doing my blog and then I'm doing an internship at the moment and that's kind of been taking up a lot of my time, by the time I get home then it's just dark so I can't really film but I'm back! And I'm here with another video and this one is going to be an exciting one I hope and it is going to be a haul. So it's kind of a collective haul of things I've picked up over the past maybe month or so. So there's quite a few tops and then there's some shoes, accessories and there's a coat as well that I picked up. So I'm just going to get on with it and show you the haul. So I think I'll start off with the clothes and the first thing I picked up is this top. So it is, can't really show you this properly on the screen, but it's basically just a checkered red and black and cream top. It's like kind of a shirt material more than anything else, and then it's quite oversized and quite long, like that. And then at the back it's got splits in it, I don't know how well you can see that, but basically splits going all the way down. So I got that, um, I'm not sure... I think I got this one in the sale, I think it was down to something like £15, it says on the tag 35 but I didn't pay that, I got it in the sale. So yeah, and that's from River Island. The next thing, again from River Island, is just a plain t-shirt but it says Kate, Naomi, Claudia and Cindy um, and it says original 90s because they are the original 90s models and it's just basically a grey t-shirt, quite oversized again. But I thought this would just look nice with like a nice necklace, statement necklace, and then jeans and a coat and it would be perfect. I just, I like some basic t-shirts. We'd rather than do really good t-shirts with like slogans and logos and things on them. And I just saw this one and liked it a lot. So yeah, and this I believe was £18. But yeah, so there's that. Then the next thing, and I think this is actually it from River Island, and it's this not putting that up very well at all but it's this cream kind of lace shirt it's quite sheer inside so I don't think you'd need to wear a top underneath it but I haven't really actually really I haven't worn this yet I've tried it on but I haven't worn it so I'm not really sure but basically on the back it's just this sheer material and then the front it's lace so it's got lace sleeves and then lace all over and then it's got these gems on it, so I don't know how well you can see those, but yeah, so gems all over it, and then it's just buttons up and has like a really high, so it come like really high collar, and I just really liked it. I thought it was quite a vintage kind of looking shirt, which is something I don't really have in my wardrobe a lot. So I just saw this and picked it up. I mean, it was quite pricey, I'd say, for just a shirt. Let's see, it. Should it was originally £45, but yeah, so that was that. So the next thing is a jumper, and this is actually from HM, and this is the most recent thing I picked up. I've only picked this up this week actually. So I've been looking for a big grey jumper, like kind of an oversized one, but I didn't really want one with like a roll neck. That seems to be what I saw one in Zara, but it had a roll neck, and I'm not really, I don't really do roll necks. But then I saw this one in H&M and it's basically, as I said, just a big oversized grey jumper. It is really big, like really oversized. Um, I've actually done a blog post wearing this up today. When you'll be watching this, it'll probably be in a few days. But it was up today and I will put the link in the down bar below for you to read that and see what it actually looks like on. It's not actually as big and baggy on as it looks in real life, but basically it is huge. And it just has long sleeves. I tend to roll the sleeves up with this because I just think it looks better. And I just wore this with a gilet over the top, jeans and yeah. But you could wear it with a lot of things. You should wear it with a leather skirt maybe or something like that. So this was from H&M and I believe, I haven't got the tag on it because I've worn it, but I believe this was maybe 20 or £25. So not a lot for a big chunky knit really because it is quite thick. So yeah, so that was that. So every year I like to pick up a new winter coat. I do use the ones from the previous years but I just like to pick up a new one. And I saw this one in Primark and I kind of undernawed about it for a while because things in Primark tend to be bought by a lot of people and because it's quite a statement coat 
you probably end up seeing a lot of people wearing it but I wanted it anyway and it is this Czech, Czech print coat like it's got like blues, purples yeah so it's, it's basically an oversized I think it's called like a boyfriend style coat or something oversized and yeah so it is really big and quite long and then it just has two pockets there and then the lapels and then the back is just the same so yeah it's probably difficult to see this but I've also done a blog post wearing this so I'll link that below as well so you can see it on these things will probably look a lot better on there'll be blog posts with all the other stuff as well at some point so yeah, so that is going to be, I can see, my new winter coat, hopefully, I've already seen some bloggers wearing it currently, so hopefully not a lot of other people buy it. But yeah, so that's that. Now on to the scoe shoes next, I've got two pairs of shoes to show you. Um, these are both actually from New Look. I find New Look do the best shoes, in my opinion. They're not the comfiest always, but they are usually the nicest. So yeah, these are from New Look, as I said, and they are just these grey, speckle, kind of, maybe snake print, I'd say, cut out shoes. So they have an ankle strap there, then they're cut out here, and then there's where your foot goes, so there's basically just a big gap in all of them. I mean, they're not probably the most wintry shoes ever, but I thought autumn, winter, there is two. Two. There we go. Yep, two shoes. Um, but yeah, so they're probably not the best for winter, but I'm sure I'll get quite a lot of wear out of them at the moment. And they're not very comfy, just a word of warning, if you do decide to get these shoes. They did actually cut my feet, but I think maybe I just need to break them in a little bit. Um, because I do really like them. So yeah, so those are those. Then the next pair of shoes is a pair of boots. Now I always every year pick up a pair of black boots and they usually last me for the whole of that autumn winter and then I pick up a new pair. Some last more but it's usually one, one year. And this year I decided to pick up these black chunky Chelsea boots. Now normally I just go with standard Chelsea boots, the flat ones. I've had some from Topshop before, some from New Look. Um, but I went with these chunky ones this time, I mean they are quite chunky um, and they just have basically elasticated on the back and then they are just basically your standard Chelsea boot other than that, again there's two um, but the quality is quite good actually, I did notice that they do crease at the front I don't know if anyone else notices that with any of their shoes which is quite annoying, it doesn't look the best but that aside, they do, I do really like them and they are comfortable and I just think, I think these will last me through this year anyway. So that's those. Now I'll go on to accessories I think. So this is kind of a mixed bag of things. So the first thing I picked up was this hat. Now I actually got this, this is actually from Primark, believe it or not. But I picked it up from Selfridges, so for those of you who don't know, some Selfridges, I'm not sure if it's every Selfridges, yeah, so some of them have Primarks, and they're basically, I think they cherry pick the best of the best, put in, in the ones in Selfridges, and it's not, it's kind of a completely different experience, it isn't kind of like the hustle and bustle and the mess that a normal Primark is, which is what I prefer. And then, so I managed to pick up this, which I haven't seen in a normal Primark, so I'm not sure if it is just exclusive to Selfridges ones or not. But anyway, it's basically a big black floppy hat. It is quite floppy. I've got one that's more stiff, but I wanted a floppier one. And then it has this gold, or it might be rose gold. Maybe, I think it is kind of a not quite rose gold gold um, chain on the top of it. And basically I'll put it on show you so yeah so basically that's what it looks like on it is very floppy I like it um so yeah this is I think this is going to be my staple hat I think I mean I've worn it so far three times I think and I really love it it goes with so much gold hardware is a bit different for me because I usually wear silver a lot it kind of goes with this watch so that works, but with anything else, maybe not. But yeah, so I think I'm going to take this off now before I get hat hair. But 
but yeah so that is the hat from Primark this was a really real bargain actually this was only £10 yeah. and I think it looks so much more expensive I've seen this on a couple of bloggers um, I originally saw it on Fleur de Force she had it and I thought it was from, from somewhere really expensive but turns out Primark is the one so yeah that is that Next thing is, I'd say this is more of a winter item than autumn, but I suppose you could wear it, it's getting quite cold now. And it is this scarf from Zara. So it is a ginormous, it's like a blanket sized scarf. But obviously you just roll it like that. And then I would usually wear this probably like that, like a couple of times. Just roll it round like that and then sort it. So it is a thick scarf, I can tell this is going to take me through to winter perfectly. They had this in a pink and brown I think as well and then they had another colour as well but I thought seeing as I wear a lot of monochrome I thought the black one would work perfectly. So it is just a really giant scarf and I think this was, I've taken the tag off it but I believe it was £20 maybe, I could be wrong. It was somewhere near there yeah, and that was from Zara in case I didn't already say. The next items are actually both bags. Um, the first one is a clutch and you may have already probably seen this. If you follow me on Instagram you will have seen a picture of this or you may have seen it on multiple bloggers and YouTubers over Fashion Week. But it is this pink furry clutch. So it's from Topshop and it's just a pink fur and it is a roll top clutch. So I would kind of hold it like that or under my arm or whatever and then so it just basically folds like that then opens up and then it's just inside just a big big open space um so and then it just has poppers there like that and it just rolls shut so yeah that was from top shop and i believe it was 20 25 28 23 it was 20 something it wasn't that expensive I thought it was quite a good deal actually for what it is the first one is another bag as I said and it is this kind of satchel style bag it's very not not me maybe I kind of go for black accessories more but I saw this and I just couldn't resist and Debenhams this is from Henry Holland by the way and Debenhams were having a 25% discount day week um, and this was actually reduced so I thought I would pick it up so it is a little satchel with a top handle and then it has also a long handle with fur on the shoulder straps and then you just pop it open with the two poppers and inside it is two sections it's full of the stuff in actually at the moment because I only got this at the weekend so I haven't actually used it yet because I wanted to save it for the haul but Yes, so there we have it. That is everything that I picked up in my collective haul. This was, as I said, over over a month or so, because um, I realised it was quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I think the next video you should see will be a September favourites. I'm just going to film this after this video, I think, but it's going to go up after this one. It doesn't really make sense, but it is going to go up after this one. So. That one's going to be a bit late, but do hold out for the September favourites because I have some good things in, in it. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Thumbs up the video if you did. And then hit the subscribe button to see more videos from me next time. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!